My Lords, the hybrid sitting of the House will now resume. A private notice question on free school meals in England. Lord Woolley of Woodford. I'd like to ask the question in my name on the order paper. Baroness Berich. My Lords, the Government is determined to ensure that children are supported throughout this pandemic. We recognise these are unprecedented and difficult times for some families, and that is why the Government has significantly strengthened the welfare safety net. We have put in place additional me measures worth around £9 billion this financial year. Further to this, we have provided £63 million in welfare assistance funding to local authorities to support families with food and other essentials. My Lords, as a humble crossbench peer, I passionately believe the issue of 4.1 million children living in poverty, the vast majority in working families, and the subject of free school meals should not be embroiled in this present poisonous political space. Whilst we entrench our political positions and we're afraid to say on either side we may have got this wrong, our kids go hungry, families descend into despair, and as my good friend Dame Louise Casey has stated, destitution beckons. Does the Minister agree with me that as a matter of urgency in this COVID crisis, we must show leadership and create a unified party group to form a strategy for today, tomorrow, and indeed the long term that includes young dynamic men such as Marcus Rashford, an organisation such as Fair Share, the Trussell Trust and others? My Lords, um, I'm sure Noble Lords will agree um, that on all parties here, whether politically aligned or not, we all agree that we want to help those children who are in need and that working together is a solution to that. And the suggestions put forward by the new child poverty uh, uh, task force that has been convened by Marcus Rashford, who's... Um, uh, activities we uh, commend, those uh, recommendations and suggestions will be considered as part of the forthcoming spending review. Uh, Lord Griffiths of uh, Barryport. My Lords, I was in receipt of uh, free meals throughout my entire school career. My mother, a single woman, her only income was the contributions of the National Assistance we lived in one room. I remember very clearly, I can still taste and smell it, the mounting panic ahead of school holidays because the income we had could not stretch to feeding two boys and a mother in that day. Marcus Rashford and I have this and probably only this in common. We remember, not in our heads, but in our whole bodies. An old Etonian, of course, can't be expected to have had the same experience. Some local councils will draw money in the way that the government is suggesting from allocations they've received. Other local authorities won't. Some communities will rise to the challenge. Other communities won't. Some children will get through most won't. Can the, can the noble lady, the minister, give us some reassurance, not hide behind global figures, and understand that postcode lottery is not a formula that's destined to help the well-being of our children? Uh, my lords, um, many noble lords of all parties and none can recall circumstances in which their own needs whether that be housing or food were not met through the circumstances of uh, their family um, there are indeed it is not a postcode lottery 1.4 million children in england are entitled to free school meals um, saving their families over £400 um, a year and in addition to that, particularly through the soft drinks levy, the government has in nearly 2,000 
500 schools have been, been funding now breakfast clubs to provide children with healthy food. My Lord, could I say gently that um, I realise passions run high on this, but could please uh, members keep their supplementaries reasonably short? Lord Story. Uh, my Lord, as the Prime Minister said yesterday, that no child should go hungry. We've heard from the Minister that they've made available £63 million uh, to be given to vulnerable families, to local authorities. But what she didn't say was the guidance said that that money should have been spent within 12 weeks, so that money could not be used uh, for free meals, and certainly that money was not ring-fenced for uh, providing uh, meals during holidays. Uh, a straightforward question to the Minister. Can the government uh, agree, or can the government promise that every vulnerable child will get a meal during the holidays? My, my lords, um, in relation to the local uh, local authority welfare assistance fund, the noble lord is correct, but that 12-week period ends at the end of October, beginning of November, so does cover uh, the relevant uh, period. And we have, due to the unprecedented circumstances in which schools were closed, uh, provided um, support to pay for free school meals um, while schools were closed. But most schools were back; 89, approximately 89% of children were back in school. So. The traditional method of delivering free school meals before half term was back in action. Baroness Fuchs. My Lords, given that schools are usually standing empty during the school holidays, in the longer term, would it not be more sensible to open them up so that they can serve nutritious meals to the children who really need them? And just as important, provide educational opportunities, many of which have been missed during this pandemic. Yeah. Uh, my Lords, yes, indeed, many uh, schools are, in 17 local authorities, schools are open during the holidays, and the Government has provided £9 million to fund holiday clubs that include uh, food as well. But, of course, at the moment, with how hard all staff in our schools have worked, I don't think anyone is suggesting that we want the school kitchens open in that traditional manner during the school holidays. Uh, Lord Harris of Pentregarth. I recognise that the government has given significant sums to strengthen the welfare net, but would the minister not agree that the most focused and efficient way of supporting the most vulnerable members of our society, the children, is by actually paying for school meals during the holidays, as has been recognised, of course, by the Scottish and Welsh governments? That would be the most focused and efficient way of doing it. My Lords, the, the method used by the Scottish and Welsh Government is in fact um, uh, the similar methodology to the uh, Local Authority Welfare Assistance Fund, that it's by local councils. They're not expecting uh, schools to deliver that. But this is a time during the pandemic where all of us, government, communities, faith communities, uh, families need to come together, uh, and charities, of course, to support everyone during this pandemic. Uh, the Lord Bishop of Bristol. My Lords, while I agree with the government that preschool meals are not the long-term solution for holiday hunger, the reality is that it's now half-term and children are going hungry. Does the noble Baroness, the Minister, agree that while the current crisis demands short-term solutions, there's also a much bigger question at stake? Will the noble lady tell the House what sustained support the government will be offering to address both the concerns up to Easter 2021 and their plans to tackle the underlying and increasing issues of child poverty in the longer term. My Lords, um, the main way in which the government uh, funds, obviously, outside of the free school meals, in addition to the breakfast clubs, is through the universal uh, credit system. And we have, they may seem like big figures, £9 billion, but that has been an increase in universal credit or working tax credit of over £1,000. Uh, and that is significant in addition to the increase in local housing allowance that has been given. We do are fortunate to live not in a perfect country, but when we look globally through the Anglican communion in a country that does provide a welfare safety net for its citizens. Uh, Lord uh, Watson of Invergarry. 
My Lords, in June, the noble Baroness and Minister rebuffed my call for an extension of free school meals vouchers to cover the summer holidays, saying, and I quote, there is support out there for those who need provision. Days later, the government U-turned, and the noble Baroness and Minister explained that by saying, we have listened, we recognise the pressures that families will be under due to the COVID crisis, and we have responded to that. But, my Lords, lessons were not learned, and today, despite the funding mentioned earlier by the noble Baroness and Minister, children across the country are going hungry. During a pandemic, how can the most vulnerable children in our society not be a priority for support? So will the noble Baroness and Minister now urge her government to show compassion and agree to fund free school meals for all school holidays until spring 2021? Uh, I do... Um, uh apologise if the, the Noble Lord felt uh, rebuffed, um, but uh, the uh, support that has been uh, given that is in addition, in addition for disadvantaged children, as the Noble Lord will be aware, there are now over half a million devices. So the, the needs of disadvantaged children are a priority for this government, and, and £350 million of the catch-up fund is directed to disadvantaged children. Um, and in addition to that, although it sounds like, again, a big figure, we will never know how many children have avoided needing free school meals by the £53 billion of taxpayers' money that has been used to support businesses during this period, which are paid for COPE, the furlough scheme and other schemes. Lord Renard. My Lords, I am also one of the few members of the House of Lords who depended on free school meals, and it never made sense to me that you got this sort of support in term time, but nothing in the school holidays. So can the Minister tell the House when Ministers will stop saying publicly that they agree with Marcus Rashford while actually voting down his proposals? Isn't it time to do the right thing? Uh, my Lords, um, the Government um, has uh, uh, overall a principle that the best way for families is to be in work, but when they're not in work, there is a system of universal credit which does uh, provide funding uh, for um, uh, for families, and that has been the traditional means, so that we have not expected schools to be open, all schools to be open during the holidays to provide those meals. It's a free school meal, and the vouchers were given because, of course, schools were closed during term time, and those supplementary programmes like holidays and breakfast clubs have been in addition to that provision. And I'll call Lord Lucas. My Lords. I congratulate my noble friend on holding to the principle that people should be responsible for looking after their own children. Uh, but does she not nonetheless recognise that in this pandemic we need special measures, that free school meals were a special measure that was proven to work, that we made work when schools were not operating, and it, this is really difficult to create new forms of support in the middle of a pandemic. Would it not be most sensible to go back to providing free school meals as the most practical short-term alternative? My, uh, my Lords, yes, indeed, we are living through a time where special measures have been needed. Uh, but for the reasons I've outlined, it would not be right to expect the schools at the moment to be open outside of term time to provide uh, uh, meals. And although we offered a voucher system, it was important that schools could have their own local voucher system, which could be um, redeemed in local shops, because the system we had to stand up in special measures was only for national supermarkets. And we want to, we, um, those local schemes enabled, um, which could be reclaimed, the costs were reclaimed and enabled local shops to be included. I now call Baroness Watkins of Tavistock. My Lords, it appears to me that there's a policy vacuum in England regarding the provision of nutritious food for children. Can the noble lady, the Minister, explain? Does the government accept that there is a clear correlation between children's cognitive development and proper nutrition? And if so, how can Her Majesty's government stand by and let the children in Scotland and Wales receive free food school vouchers equivalent to school meals? and deprive our children in England. How does this help level up society in the UK? Surely a key manifesto commitment. No child, whether in city, town or rural communities, should be hungry during the school holidays. Uh, uh. 
my Lords, um, in relation to uh, the children in England, I've outlined the local government welfare assistance scheme. There is also, when schools were back properly, the fruit and vegetables, uh, the box of fruit and vegetables scheme was also back running. This government has extended free school meals now. About 17% of children in England qualify for free school meals. During the pandemic, we extended eligibility to children of those whose parents have no recourse to public funds. In 2014, we enjoyed, in, introduced universal infant free school meals and free school meals for those in FE. This government has not stood by and does uh, want and has supported through other taxpayers' uh, taxes uh, vulnerable children during the pandemic. Ms Morris of Yardley. Uh, my Lords, well, it's not for a minute doubting the Minister's personal understanding of this difficulty. I think she's wrong to say that it isn't a postcode lottery. Today is half term and whether children will get a free school meal will depend on where they live. And there's only two ways of making sure that that doesn't happen at Christmas. And that's to either make it a statutory duty, which is the case with free school meals, or offer ring-fenced funding. And unless you do it and the government does one or two of those things, it will continue to be a postcode lottery. Can she give us an assurance that the solution that the government comes forward with for the Christmas holidays will fall into one of those two solutions? My Lord, the, the noble lady, uh, thank you for her comments, raises a, a wider issue, which is when you have devolved power, whether to councils or to combined authorities or to different nations, we have to live with the fact that we see different responses in, in different parts, um, potentially, of, of, of the country. Uh, but it is not, and, and in relation to Scotland, they did not pay for free school meals during the recent o October half term. Uh, but I will take away the noble, Lord, noble lady's uh, comments. My Lords, I'm afraid that the time allowed for this private notice question has now elapsed. Uh, before taking the economy update statement, we'll just have a couple of minutes so that the front benches can change places safely. Questions on a statement made in the House of Commons on Thursday the 22nd of